Santa Claus versus the Easter Bunny by Fred Blunt. The holidays just got serious. Merry morning, Bunny. Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny lived next door to each other. Santa was a jolly fellow. Bunny was not. You see, down in his garden shed, Bunny first had to make the chocolate, then fashion the chocolate into eggs, then wrap them even though the foil set his teeth on edge. And before delivering them by himself on foot, which explains why you often find Easter eggs scattered all over your garden, Bunny didn't have a shiny factory or a workforce of elves. Keep it up, elves. Only two million toys to go. Nor did he have a herd of magic flying reindeer to drive him around his delivery route. Giddy up, dancer, blizzard, Er, Randolph? Um, Patricia? And for all his hard work, Bunny never received a single thank you. Unlike Santa, who gets tasty treats from children all over the world. Milk and cookies in America, coffee in Sweden, mince pies and sherry in Great Britain, rice pudding in Denmark, and thank you letters from the kind children of Germany. Even the dumb reindeer get a carrot. I'd settle for a carrot. I like carrots. Is it too much to ask for a carrot? Rabbits like carrots. Children like chocolate. Fair swap. Determined to get even with Santa and those ungrateful children, Bunny decided to hatch a plan. He thought and thought and thought harder still until a deliciously devious plot popped into his head. Later that night, the Easter Bunny crept over to Santa's workshop. He climbed down the great chimney, just like Santa himself, then tiptoed past the silent conveyor belts. When he got to the merry manufacturing machines, he pumped them full of warm liquid chocolate. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. On Christmas Eve, it was business as usual in Santa's workshop. Almost finished for the year, the tired elves never noticed that the toys were being made of chocolate. This will wipe the ho 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 from under that big white beard. And those poor sweet children, whatever will they do when their toys melt? Whoa, ha 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 ha. That night, Bunny went to bed early imagining Santa racing around the world and the sad faces of upset children as their toys melted into chocolatey blobs. At the crack of dawn, Bunny kicked back his bedclothes, ran down the stairs, hopped into his favorite chair, and switched on the television. News just in. Millions of children all over the world have woken up only to find chocolate toys under the Christmas tree. Over to you, Clarissa Gossipa. Thanks, Trevor. I'm outside this family home to find out how these poor children have taken this truly shocking news. Oh, this is perfect. Children are miserable, all because of nasty old Santa Claus. I made it onto the headlines. So, are you upset with your chocolate toys? Are you kidding? Now I can play and eat chocolate at the same time. Is that a chocolate bicycle? Mmm, chalky handlebars. Nom nom. I love you, Santa. So there you have it, Trevor. Santa has made Christmas even better than before. Back to you in the studio. Click off. Bunny was gobsmacked. Santa was more popular than ever. Why? Oh, why? Oh, why? Wah! That's it. I quit. No more Easter Bunny. No more eggs. Santa can do it all from now on. At least, he'll be thanked. Sniff. With a heavy heart, the Easter Bunny decided to close his workshop and leave town for good. He was just saying goodbye to his cozy little home when the doorbell rang. Ding dong. It was Santa Claus. I need to have a word with you. Bunny didn't like the sound of that. It was you, wasn't it? You filled my machines with chocolate, didn't you? But, but, I can explain. Wah! 
I'm so sorry. Sorry, sorry. Don't be deaf, man. You're a genius. From now on, we're a team. I'll set you up with a proper workshop. My elves will help with chocolate production. They can even lend a hand with the Easter rush if you like. What do you say, bunny? Me and you. And that was an all. For the first time ever, Bunny got a thank you. I brought you some carrots by way of thanks. My reindeer are sick of them. Do you like carrots? What? I love carrots. They're my favorite. Thank you. Thank you, Santa. Keep them coming, team. Before long, Santa had a state-of-the-art chocolate workshop built, complete with chocolate fountain for the sweet tooth elves. Bunny was a happy bunny indeed. And as for Santa, well, he was always happy. The end. Well, thank you for reading Santa Claus versus the Easter Bunny. Have a great day.